Hello, everybody. Um, my name is Adam Nevue. I'm the Director of Residence Life here at Purdue State College, and this is the Residence Life uh, Orientation Session. A um, couple of things um, as we get going here and allow others to join. Um, if you are having problems hearing or things aren't going right, um, please let me know somehow. You can, um, I believe, have a raise hand function. There's also ways you can chat. Um, as well through the, through the features, so please let me know. Um, and then I will be playing some videos throughout the session as well. Um, just so you know, you know what those, you might have to adjust your volume when I play the videos. Um, they're just a little bit different and we can't really get them the same. Um, so just, just keep that in mind, um, but I'll let you know when those happen. Um, otherwise, uh, this session will be recorded, so you'll be able to get access to it after the fact if you want to um, view it again. Um, I will be showing some um, videos that are on our YouTube page. If you just search Peru State Residence Life on YouTube, you'll be able to find those videos again to watch there. So if you want to watch through them again or pause them, um, look closely at things, they're there for you as well. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hop into, I'm going to hop into this uh, presentation I have. And then if you have questions, again, just please ask. You should have a question um, a feature on there. And we'll get going. So grab this real quick here. All right. So residence life. So uh, residence life is obviously where everyone lives on campus. Everyone lives on campus in our campus housing. Um, one of our halls uh, that we have that I want to go over first is Morgan Hall, which is our women's hall. Um, it's uh, traditional style, so like long corridors, uh, bathroom, uh, one bathroom on each floor, rooms on both sides. Kind of what you think of when you think of a residence hall. You think of a movie or things like that. Or things you're familiar with at the hall. So what I'm going to do is um, quickly show a video of the hall to you. And like I said, you might have to adjust your volume and we'll go from there. So let me grab this. All right, we're on some technical difficulties here. All right, so that video didn't look. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play a video uh, that kind of goes over residence life. And so this will kind of set the, set the tone for the rest of the presentation. So we'll play this. And again, you might, have to adjust, might have to adjust your volume, so keep that in mind. Hello, Bobcats, and welcome to Proof State College. We're here to show you more about your new home away from home. My name's Adam Nevue, and I'm the Director of Residence Life. You'll see me a lot on campus, but let's see who else is going to help you while you're here on campus. Hi, Bobcats. I'm Clara Edwards, the Assistant Director of Residence Life. You can find me here in the Residence Life office or in my office in Delzell Hall. Amy Eastman is our project coordinator for Residence Life. You can stop by the office and ask her any questions that you have about Residence Life or living in the hall. She's like the Peru State second mom. We're right around the corner from the dining hall, so you can stop by and speak to us on your way to lunch. I'm here at the Morgan Hall front desk. Each hall has a front desk, and you can find an RA here every night. You can go to the RA to talk to, about any issues that you have in the residence halls or any questions or concerns. Get to know them because they'll be your best resource. Each hall has a desk. You can go there to check out games, cooking utensils, and other handy items. If you live in Morgan Hall or Delzell Hall, it's likely that you'll be in a living learning community, or LLC for short. LLCs are themed communities in which the RA will put on programs and events that are geared towards that theme, and they might even, might even include faculty and staff involvement. The great thing about LLCs is, it's a fun, is it is a fun experience for you and students who live in LLCs have been proven to have a higher success rate and better GPAs. Win-win. Housing assignments are made near the end of June. The housing assignments will be sent to your email. If you need any accommodations, please let us know as soon as possible so we can accommodate your needs. My biggest piece of advice for you when you receive your housing assignment is to talk to your roommates. There will be a phone number or an email for you to contact them. Don't just go on social media and look them up and stalk them from a distance. Talk to them because what happens is every year I see it, there will be students who come and there will be two fridges, two microwaves, two futons, and your room ends up looking like an appliance showroom and not a room that you want to live in. So talk to your roommates and you're going to make your life a lot happier, you're going to make moving a lot smoother, and your parents are going to be a lot happier because they don't have to return things to the stores. The residence halls all have free laundry. As you can see from here in Delzell, we have plenty of machines available. 
Our residence halls have free cable in the lounges, but not in the rooms, so there's no need to bring the coax cable. We do have a service called Res Life Cinema that's available in the halls. That's really cool. It's a streaming service, kind of like Netflix, but it has new movies, and you get to help choose them. You'll learn a lot more about that when you get to campus. Our mattresses are size Twin XL, so your regular Twin sheets at home won't fit. You can find Twin XL sheets at places uh, like Target, Walmart, in their back to school section, or we have a partnership with a company called OCM that has linens that are guaranteed to fit our beds and they're guaranteed to last the four years you're here. So if you're interested in that, check out the links in the video uh, so you can go there and order some. Our beds are bunkable or completely adjustable. They have 30 inches of height for storage. Let's have a quick talk about things that you cannot bring. Basically, anything that can start a fire. These are things like hot plates, heaters, and most specifically, candles. My last piece of advice for you for moving in is to pack lightly. When we asked students the thing they would have done differently when they moved in, it was definitely to pack less things. It just makes it a lot easier to move in and it gives you a lot more space to live in your room. We hope you enjoyed this quick tour of residence life. We can't wait to see you at move in. All right, so that that worked. Um, so like I said, uh, Morgan Hall is one of our halls. Um, we, sorry, the video for Morgan Hall is not playing, so. I apologize for that, but like I said, it is available on our YouTube page. So if you look at that after this, you'll be able to um, you'll be able to find that. Delzell Hall is our other uh, freshman hall, our tr traditionally mainly freshman hall. Um, it's our men's hall. Um, it is traditional style, just like Morgan, um, newly renovated a couple of years ago. So it's pretty fantastic hall. Um, so let me show the video about that. Hopefully it works. Hello and welcome to Proof State College. My name is Vivian and I'm going to be showing you Delzell Hall. You have 24 hour access to Delzell with your ID card. Once we walk down the hall, there is a kitchen where it has an oven and a vending machine and a refrigerator. And then also down the hall, there is the laundry where there's free laundry for all students. One of the greatest features about Delzell Hall are the lounges. This is the game room, and it has a ping pong table, pool table, foos table, and just space to hang out. It's a great place to hang out with your friends or watch TV or play video games. Right upstairs is the great hall, and that is another lounge. Let's go check it out. The Great Hall is a great place to hang out with your friends. It's a quieter level, so it's a better place to study or do some homework. And there are smaller lounges on the second and third floor. Right here you'll find the office, and this is where the residence assistant or the RA would stand each night. And they are here to help you with anything that you need throughout the year. There is an RA on each floor, and they are a student just like you. During the most recent renovations, one of the most drastic improvements was the bathroom. This is a standard Delzell double room. In it, you'll find two beds, two mattresses, two desks, two dressers, two chairs. And the beds are adjustable and can be bunked. And if you have it on the highest level, your dressers will fit underneath. Over here, you will find a sink and a vanity underneath. And on the other side is the cabinets. There's also a thermostat where you can control your heat or your AC. Delzell Hall also offers triple rooms. These are bigger than the standard room and they offer more flexibility for students. Instead of a closet, there are wardrobes for students to move around and there are loft kits to move the room entirely how you want it to be. That concludes our tour of Delzell Hall. Hope to see you soon. All right, so that was Delzell Hall. And the other um, hall we have, we call it a hall, but it's really a, a complex of six halls. It's called the Centennial Complex. Uh, there's Matthews Hall and Claiborne Hall, which are traditionally mostly freshmen. Uh, Palmer and Davidson Halls are 
traditionally mostly sophomores, and then Nicholas and Pate Halls are only available to um, juniors and seniors. Uh, the biggest difference between um, all the halls is that they're all suite style, but Nicholas and Pate has a uh, kitchen in each of them as well, so they're more um, technically apartment style, but they're set up as a suite style. Um, so it's, Suite style means that each uh, suite or each room is a living room, a bathroom, and then either two or three bedrooms. The picture on the left there you can see um, is the living room of a two bedroom suite. So you'll see in the, in the, the little hallway there goes to a bedroom on each side and the bathroom would be off to the left by where that lamp is. And then uh, the picture on the right is a picture of a bedroom. So I have a video for the complex as well. And I promise it's my last video. And let's see if this one plays. Hi, my name is Vivian and welcome to Cruise State College. This is the Centennial Complex. Freshmen are eligible to live in Matthews and Claiborne. Sophomores and up are eligible to live in Palmer and Davidson and juniors and seniors are able to live in Nicholas and Pate. This is Matthews. You have 24 hour access using your key card. As you walk in, you will see our Fresh Ideas vending machine where it will be stocked and you can get food using your Bobcat Bucks 24 hours a day. Matthews is home to one of the two game rooms of the complex. It is a place, they have a place to study, a place to watch the big game and a ping pong table. Welcome to the Palmer Game Room. This room has a computer and a printer for all students for free use, a TV and a pool table. This is another fun area to hang out with your friends if you need a break from homework or school. All right, this is the kitchen located in Palmer. As you can see, there is a refrigerator, a stove top and an oven, and a sink. All complex housing is suite style, and this is an example of a four person suite. Each room has a living room, a bathroom, and two rooms. And the living room will include a chair, a couch, and most likely a table. This is the bathroom. And in the room, you will find two built-in desks, chairs, um, either a big dresser or two little dressers, two beds, two mattresses, and the frames are adjustable. You can bunk if you want. And this is what they are basically opposite on both sides. The complex is home to some great outdoor facilities for you all to enjoy. This includes a sand volleyball court and a basketball court. I hope you enjoyed your tour and I hope to see you in the fall. All right, okay, so that's our residence halls. So when you come to campus, you might, you obviously won't be living in all three, so you might be in Delzell or, or you might be in Morgan. Hope to try to make sure you get to the complex, find some friends who live there, um, and vice versa, if you live at the complex, find some friends who live in other halls so that Way when you get to room selection um, for the next year, you know kind of what you're looking at and you can kind of figure out where you want to live for the next year. So I definitely um, encourage you to see the other halls. Um, I mentioned, if you remember the video that I showed, I mentioned uh, Living Learning Communities or LLCs for short. Um, they're theme communities um, based on the theme for that, um, for, for that floor. And they're great because the RAs have put on programming that's geared around that theme and they'll have faculty and staff involvement. Um, there's a lot of studies behind living learning communities about how uh, what they can do for students and the biggest thing is help students be successful and help students with the transition to college. Um, there's lots of studies about about um, how they impact students. Here's uh, one by the Association of uh, American Colleges and Universities um, just showed that students were uh, more social, they had higher GPAs and higher success rates. Our living learning communities on campus uh, are the Fusion LLC. Um, in Delzell Hall on the third floor, the Discovery LLC um, in uh, Morgan on the, th on the third floor. Both those uh, kind of focus on a transition to college and self-exploration, kind of finding yourself who you want to be 
um, kind of looking at majors. If, if uh, you don't have a major yet, or if you're looking to change potentially in the future, you go over those things. There's the honors LLC, which kind of works in pods throughout all the halls um, with honors students. Um, the Journey LLC is in the basement of Morgan Hall, and that's for uh, TRIO SSS members um, with a focus on the transition to college. Um, we also have the Wellness LLC in Morgan Hall on the first floor. Um, there's really a focus on physical, mental health, and well-being, and the RAs, um, you know, a lot of programs are geared towards that. Um, we have the Gaming LLC in uh, Delzell, which really, it's, it's like it says, bonding through a common interest in gaming, and a lot of our students really enjoy being in that LLC. And then a new LLC we have this year in the basement of Delzell Hall is the Bobcat Spirit LLC, um, which really kind of a, a, a focus on uh, an interest in sports, um, both pre state sports, maybe intramural sports and other things. Basically anything related to sports and competitiveness um, is really uh, the, the focus of that community. So um, you, when you chose your housing, or if you do, if you haven't done it yet, you have the option to choose um, uh, the LLC you want to live in. Um, so based on where you get placed, it'll tell you where you are, and that's kind of things you can look forward to for the year. Here's just some pictures of some LLC events in the past. Um, here's when they went to a um, uh, escape room in uh, Omaha. So you're probably wondering, where will I be living? Room assignments will be made um, near the end of June. So we're, uh, we started working on them now. Um, they should be done. Let's see here, it's, uh, it's Tuesday. So looking at, potentially this week, but for sure by the end of June. Um, and it, it informa information will be sent to you via the email that you put in your housing application. So it asks you um, for an email that you check regularly. So we'll send to that. And we'll also start sending it to your Peru email as well. And those will run concurrently. And then um, as we approach the um, the beginning of the year, we'll start sending it mostly to the Peru, the Peru email. So you get used to checking that email. Um, if you haven't done it yet, there's the link to the housing application, housing.peru.edu slash app. Um, it's very straightforward. If you have any questions, though, you can always call us. Um, we're here uh, 8 to 5 um, during the week, so please call us, let us know. Um, for paying the fee, um, you if you click on it in the app or in the, in the housing application, it'll bring you to uh, an external window to the MyPSC page. It's in your MyPSC under payments. Um, if you need help with that, please call us. We can walk you through it. Um, it's one of the most common things that we help students with. Remember that you have to have both the application done and your fee paid before you can be placed in a room. So make sure you get those done uh, before uh, before uh, we place rooms. So very soon. Some things to note uh, come to the hall. So as mentioned in the videos, uh, we have free laundry, so no need uh, no need to bring uh, quarters or anything like that. But please learn how to do laundry, um, parents. Uh, uh, please teach uh, students. <laughs> students, please learn. Uh, it, it's, it's pretty easy, but you know, you can, things can go awry pretty quickly. So please learn how to do laundry. Um, we have free cable in the common areas on the lounges, as I mentioned in the video. So we don't have it in the room. So you don't need to bring a coaxial cable to connect your TV to the wall or anything like that. Um, cause you, you don't have cable in the rooms. Um, we do have a service though that's available in the halls called Residence Life Cinema, which is pretty cool. Um, it's like Netflix, uh, but it's more, uh, movies that we get to choose and they're newer movies. We basically get everything but the Disney movies or the things that you find on like Disney Plus. Um, but it's pretty fantastic. And I send out a survey every month of the new movies coming out and students get to vote on it. Um, and sometimes we have movies from certain themes that we'll throw out there as well. So for example, it, right around November, we'll put a bunch of Christmas movies on there, things like that. Um, and our students really enjoy that. Um, so for that, you just can use your phone or a tablet or you can connect your laptop to your TV with a with a HDMI cable, and that's that's one of the ways students um, uh, use it the most. Things to not bring: uh, their air conditioning units. Uh, all of our halls are air conditioned, so no need to bring that. We're not going to allow it, so please don't. And basically anything with an open heat source. So just the biggest thing here is just to be smart. Um, if you think it could start a fire, probably isn't going to be allowed. Um, but the biggest thing is if you don't know and you still you really want to bring something, ask. Um, this isn't one of those things where you want to ask for forgiveness because you're going to lose the opportunity to have it. Um, so please just ask us. Sometimes we can work out situations where you can um, you can give it to, to the RA or, or someone at the, to hold at the desk and you can check it out, things like that. But just let us know. We don't want people trying to hide things. Um, the biggest thing, like we mentioned in the video, but don't have candles, things open flames, definitely not okay. 
Um, a lot of students will ask about Sensi's, uh, the wax warmers. Um, those are okay, but I really highly discourage you from bringing them because they spill on the carpet and then it's really hard to get out of the carpet and then you end up having to pay for carpet and you don't want to do that. Uh, so please, uh, if you know, if you need your room to smell nice with the uh, with things, you know, try to do something that's not those wax warmers. It's really helpful. Um, big big thing uh, or big piece of advice I mentioned in the video: talk to your roommates. Um, you don't want to be bringing multiple items of everything to the room. Um, also, just want to kind of get to know them ahead of time. So please talk to your roommates. Um, know what you're bringing. Um, you're going to have information in the email uh, with your room information. It's going to have an email address and a phone number for that for your roommate. Um, please uh, get a hold of them. If you're struggling to get a hold of them, let us know. There's a good. That sometimes it happens like a phone number is put in wrong or something like that, and and we'll get you. We'll try to get you in contact with them. So let us know if you can't get a hold of your roommate. I mentioned in the video. We have a lot of people here to help you. It's one of the greatest things about living on campus. So. Um, Amy Eastman is our project coordinator in Residence Life. She's fantastic. Um, if you come on the Residence Life office, she's, she'll probably be the person you're working with. Um, she uh, is a great resource, and a lot of our students come and say hi to her every day, so please make sure you say hi to Amy. She is fantastic. Um, we also have uh, resident assistants, or RAs. They're students just like you. They might have been in your shoes as soon as uh, one year ago, so they know exactly what you're going through. They are they are your best resource on campus because if they don't know the answer, they're gonna know how to get that answer for you. Um, they're gonna get to know you right away. They're required to come talk to you, so um, so they want they they want to. It's why we hire, but they, they are gonna come talk to you. So please please uh, you know have conversations with them. Tell them about yourself. Tell them what you're interested in. Tell them about uh, about what you're enjoying at school here. Maybe things you're not, and and they're here to help you. So please utilize them. They're a great resource for you. Then myself, Adam Nettie, Director of Residence Life. Um, my office is in the Student Center. I'm always here to help you. My, my door is open. Please stop by. Um, and then Clara Edwards, our Assistant Director, she um, spends time in the Residence Life office here in the Student Center, and she also has an office in Delzell Hall. I wanted to mention just quickly, if you have any um, uh, housing accommodation needs or special, we call them special housing requests, those are done through a disability services coordinator and they need to be done as soon as possible, especially now with housing um, placements coming up. So if you think you need one or if there's one that you, you, you have a question about, um, contact us, contact disability services coordinators, uh, call us, just get a hold of us as soon as possible so we can get that set up. Um, so once we start making placements, we can get you, get you where you need to be. Um, here's just a couple more pictures of some of the uh, halls. Uh, the left is the Delzell Hall room, right? There's that complex room again. Um, here is a Morgan bedroom on the left and the Morgan lounge on the right there. All right, so I will open it to questions. Um, if you do have a question, you can type it in the uh, question area of your screen and I should see them come in. Again, it's my first time doing these, so I bear with me here. Um, I'm gonna continue this um, PowerPoint though, because I have a couple of things on here that we need from you. So if you have any questions, please put them in. Uh, so wanted to mention, we need your photo. So normally we will take your, we would take your uh, picture for your student ID while you're here for orientation, but since you're not here for orientation, it's going to be very hard for us to do that. Um, so we need a picture from you. So what we need you to do is make sure you're facing the camera, um, kind of like if you've got a driver's license photo, make sure you're facing the camera, nothing on your head, um, standing in front of a solid light color wall, um, kind of like the wall behind me without the pictures, obviously. Um, just a light colored solid wall, uh, take a picture straight on, um, send it to us at reslife at peru.edu. Um, we'll get it, we'll be able to save that photo and make um, make your student ID with this. That way when you move in, your student ID will be in your move-in packet. Got a question, um, when is move-in day? Uh, so move-in day, that's a good question. Move-in day for our um, football and volleyball players um, for their camp is on August 10th, that's a Monday. And then move-in day for the rest of our freshmen is Thursday, August 13th. There's going to be a lot of information coming out about move-in. Um, due to the COVID um, uh, pandemic, we are going to have um, different rules than normal for move-in. Um, all, students, all students will be uh, able to um, 
or they'll, they'll be assigned a, a check-in time, it's 11 hour time frame to move in. Um, for our for our early arrivals, like our football and volleyball, they're going to be assigned times for their for all other freshmen. Um, they're going to be able to uh, have the opportunity opportunity to choose a time um, for move-in day anytime between 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. Um, and we'll be sending out information on that uh, hopefully in early July, early to mid July. Um, basically, the the goal is to just kind of control the flow of, the flow of people into the building, so we don't have everyone showing up at once. And kind of eliminating the eliminating the exposure of, of everybody to each other. So um, we'll have a lot of information about that. Um, it's, it'll go pretty smoothly. Uh, our moving goes pretty smooth in general here at Peru. So we have a lot of things in place, but um, we're not sending out any information on that yet because things are still evolving. As you know, there's new guidance that comes that comes out from um, from CDC and from the uh, from local um, um, public health um, all the time. So. Um, putting things out now, it could very well change within days. Um, so we will be doing that in mid-July, and then uh, if you have questions with that, you'll be able to um, call us or actually just respond to the emails that we send out. Again, move-in day for freshmen, Thursday, August 13th. And then last, uh, one thing I wanted to do is uh, just kind of uh, do a shout-out for our social media. We are trying to get more involved in social media with Residence Life. So um, we have a YouTube page. Like I said, you can just uh, search for Peru State Residence Life on YouTube and you can find our page there. On Facebook, search Peru State Residence Life. Um, and you can find us as well. And then our Snapchat is PSC Res Life. That's, um, and if you take a picture of that, uh, um, the Snap logo there, you should be able to add to Snapchat. Um, we are hoping to use those a lot more um, for information about uh, as we lead into move in. Um, and then also when you're here as a student, um, especially on um, Snapchat, we'll be trying to post things regularly about events going on um, when we have a housing selection, for example, or just um, things going on on campus so we can be engaged with you and give you another opportunity to communicate with us. Um, the nice thing about, about Residence Life is we are located in the Student Center. Um, walk right past us if you're going to eat, so um, you, should walk, you should walk by us every day. Uh, so please stop by if you have any questions, anything we can help you with um, with uh, when it comes to campus housing, please stop by. We're here to help you. Um, we want you to have a great experience here on campus, so uh, we want uh, to be able to answer those questions you have. Any other questions? Build out my housing app already. Can I change it? Yes, you can. So um, if you um, if you need any changes to your housing app, you can log back in and there's certain things you can change. You can definitely access like things with the roommates, things like that. Um, if, there's anything, if there's anything that you can't, just call us up and we can do it for you. Um, but we have recently opened it up so most things can be changed after the fact. Um, again, the, the, if you can't get into it through your MyPSC, the web address is housing.peru.edu slash app. APP, housing.peru.edu slash app. Um, more questions coming in. Um, question about uh, summer bridge move-in and uh, about sports move-in. So, like I said, it is, so Monday, August, Monday, August 10th, football, volleyball, and summer bridge will move in from between eight and noon. There will be more information about that coming out, so um, keep that in mind, and you'll be assigned a time for that time period. Um, again, more information will be coming, so I know you probably have questions, but wait for that before you before you ask. Um, the other freshmen, like normal, your normal freshmen coming, will come on the 13th, Thursday. That will be eight to five, and you will be able to choose a, a uh, you'll be able to choose a check-in time. Um, and again, that sign up will come out um, in July. Again, we would love to send it now, but things are going to change between now and then, so we want to make sure that we um, have the opportunity to change that. Um, question about, you said football and volleyball, what about softball? Softball what doesn't come early, so they just come in with the normal um, freshman movement on Thursday. Um, football and volleyball come early because their sports start. Um, traditionally, they'll, they would have been here earlier than that, but this year is a little bit different because of COVID. Um, but um, they come earlier because they're starting practice because they're, they're in the season. Um, does your key card get you into the other dorms or do you need to ask to get into the other dorms? That's a good question. Your, your card will only get you into your hall. 
um, if you live in Delza or, or Morgan. If you live at the complex, so if you if you design to any of the halls out there, you'll be able to get into, into any of the complex buildings so you have access to all the lounges and things out there. Your card also can get you into the game room in the student center, and it also can get you into the fitness center um, down at the AWAC, but you do have to sign a, you have to sign a waiver for that. Um, if you just if you just uh, search um, fitness center uh, on the uh, Peru State webpage, you can find that agreement there if you want to get that taken care of now. Um, other questions that I just that haven't popped in here yet, but I'm just things I'm anticipating. Um, there are uh, for the parking pass, there'll be information that'll come out about that. Um, you, they don't cost you anything um, extra to get, um, but you do have to fill out information, obviously tell them about your vehicle, things like that. If you do that now, do it before you come, it, we should have your parking pass in your move-in packet when you arrive. Um, that move-in packet, I um, actually have an example here, is going to look like this. It'll have information on the outside, but when you get it um, inside the packet, is going to be an envelope like this that'll have your room key in it and your ID card. You'll have your parking pass in here, and there might be any any variety of papers that you need to fill out. Um, a lot of these papers can be filled out electronically in your when you get your housing um, information. You'll be able to fill out a housing contract, um, uh, emergency contact information, all those things, and they won't be in this envelope because you'll be done with them. Um, but you'll have this envelope ready for you um, when you arrive. That's how you'll check in. Let's see here. How do I choose my meal plan if I already filled out my rooming application and got the okay for rooming? Um, for changing a for changing a um, uh, meal plan, call us. Um, that will, that's one thing you can't get back in to do. So just give us a call or email us um, what you'd like to do, and we can change that for you. It's a very quick change. Where do you find your Peru email address? Um, you would get that in your um, in your my PSC, it should be available in there. Um, if you can't find it, um, give us a call and we'll help you with that. Um, I'm not 100% sure how you get, because usually those get set up when you come for registration, but with this year, with it being weird with the online registration, I'm not sure how they put that in there. I apologize for that. Um, so we can um, get that, um, we can help you with that if you call us. Um, what appliances are in the kitchen at Pate Hall? Um, just good to know for everybody in general. Yeah, so Pate uh, Hall is has a full kitchen. So there's a, um, those rooms have a fridge, a stove, an oven, um, and then a sink and cabinets. It's like a normal kitchen you would find in, in an apartment. Thanks for asking. Those are good questions. Um, if you have any other questions that come up after this presentation, um, shoot us an email. It's reslife at peru.edu. Very, very simple, easy to remember. Um, again, that's where, you guys, that's where you're supposed to send your um, ID picture as well, so go ahead and do that. Um, but if, it, if you think of things after this, because I'm sure you will, just give us an email. Um, the, the housing um, assignment information that you're going to receive, it's a long email. It's going to have a lot of information in it, so we try to answer as much as we can in there. Um, so hopefully those get answered. But if you have questions, the easiest thing to do when you get that email is just reply. Just hit reply and just ask us the question. You can also call us as well. Um, but we um, try to get those. The, we, tr we try to send those out um, as soon as we can, and then we're going to send them out multiple times throughout summer. Uh, a lot of times, the information is going to be exactly the same on them, but things can change. So make sure you check them. Um, but we send them out multiple times because what happens is um, we assign all the students we have, but more students sign up. So um, we need to resend them because you know you might have had a roommate who left or a new roommate who got added in things like that so we want to make sure that we're we're, we're uh, sending those as often as we can um one thing that i did i did load in here is there's a handout called uh, frequently asked questions i'm not sure what your view looks like to get that so you might be able to download that if you can't i apologize um, but i load that in um, for you to be able to to see that or to download it and that's it. So um, I'm seeing no more questions. I'm going to wrap this up. Uh, I see some people dropping, so we'll do that. And like I said, uh, my name is Adam Nevue, Director of Residence Life. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, email us, reslife at peru.edu. We're really excited for you to come in fall. Um, housing assignments will be coming out soon, and then you'll get more information on the move-in process in July. So we will see you in August. <laughs>